XP Pen reached out to me and asked if I would be interested for testing the XP Pen Artist 22 Plus. So this is not a sponsored video. I didn't got paid to say anything good about this tablet. So I'm not supposed to make a review or to say anything good about this tablet. So everything that I would be saying for today's video is based on my own experience that I will share with you during this video. I will talk about my experience of 3D sculpting with this tablet and of course I'm gonna walk you through my process about creating cute characters in Blender. This is a 21.5 inch screen tablet. This is not a computer, this is a display or a monitor that you can connect to your computer. This screen came with the built-in stand, so you pull it out of the box and use it right away. So easy is that. This tablet is also fully laminate. Basically what they have done, they have removed the little air gap between the glass and the screen below it. Which means the distance from the tip of your pen to the actual digital cursor is really really close. The stand has a range from 15 degrees to 88 of tilt. Well, the stand still not top notch. Don't get me wrong guys, the stand is solid and hold in place, but in my opinion, it can be better. In the box you will got the power cables and an artistic glove. You can connect this drawing tablet to your computer or laptop, it doesn't matter. I don't wanna go in depth with all that jazz. I think it's obvious to you. Let's talk about the most important part. In my opinion, it's the pen. The XP Pen Artist 22 Plus also came with an advanced pen that offers 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and supports tilt function, allowing you to create accurate strokes. The pen itself is also designed with a good grip and lightweight body making it easy to hold for a long drawing sessions. Plus, it came with shortcut buttons that can be customized to your needs for more efficient workflow. The pen does came with this clip that you can pop in on top of the tablet. So this is a smart idea to give you an easy access to the pen when you need it. I love it. As I mentioned earlier, I wanna create a cute character this idea came to my mind as I saw the XP Pen Firefox. So this Firefox is everywhere. I thought it would be nice to create a cute Firefox in Blender and that's what I'm going to do right away. Before I get started, of course I need some reference images. Since I'm working on something related to Firefox, I searched the web and collected a bunch of images that will help guide me along the way. To make all these images easier to look at and to keep organized, I'm using a super cool tool called PureRef. With PureRef, I can keep all my images in one place, which makes it way easier to stay concentrated and efficient as I work on this project. When you are blocking out a character, don't worry about adding small details yet. Instead, focus on creating a base shape of the character that represent their main features. You wanna ensure that the character's body parts like the head, the torso and the legs are in proportion to each other. By focusing on the main shape at the outset, you will have a solid foundation to build upon when it comes time to add specific details to the character. Well, many beginners ignore this point when it comes to character creation. This point is highly, highly important. Please keep that in mind. To make your 3D character look cute, you can add certain design features like big eyes, rounded shapes, and soft textures. These are the basics. You can also make the character's head larger in proportion to their body, which can give them a more youthful and innocent appearance. Additionally, short and stubby arms and legs can also add to the character cute factor. By experimenting with different combinations of these design elements, you can create a character that's visually appealing and endears itself to the audience. One of many powerful features of Blender is the paintbrush in sculpt mode. 
which enables us to quickly add textures to the 3D models. If you are creating a sculpt in Blender, using this feature can help you to add more depth and dimension to your work in just a few simple steps. To make things easier, I like to skip some of the time-consuming steps involved in creating a 3D character in general. For instance, I often add a simple material and do a quick render to present my work, right? Well, that seems to be fine, right? Well, I wanna say yes and I wanna say no. Let me explain. For the most part, I wanna say no, but for me, that's very okay and I'm happy with that. This approach saves me time because I don't have to worry about retopology, generated UVs, texture, rigging, animation, etc, etc. So is this way a professional way to create characters? Of course no. For the most part you want to create a character for a movie or a game and so on. For that you need to read topology the model, generated UVs, texturing, rigging, animation, etc, etc. What I usually do, I might consider 3D printing for the character. To do this, I need to make sure that the character has a lot of vertices to support a detailed print job. And finally, Blender is just a powerful tool. Use it wisely to create your own projects. That was all about today's video. Enjoy the final render and I'm gonna get you later. Bye.